Hello students. In this lesson, we're going to learn 25 different phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are a special kind of verb that has at least two words in it. The two words go together to create a new meaning. So the first word is always a verb and the second word is usually some kind of preposition or adverb. The two words together make the meaning that they have. So it's not the meaning of just this word and it's not the meaning of just this word. It's the two together that create a new meaning that is only for that phrase. Okay, look at this picture here. You can see that there are people doing different kinds of exercise. The reason why this picture was chosen for this lesson is because a lot of words related to exercise are phrasal verbs, such as work out is a phrasal verb, and push up is a phrasal verb, and pull up and sit up. So that's why these pictures were chosen. So we're gonna read through these different phrasal verbs. We're gonna look at their meaning and we're gonna look at it an example of how to use these words in context. So the first one, apply to, means to be relevant to, to relate to. For example, Many laws do not apply to the Queen of England. She doesn't have to obey them. So when something applies to you, that means that you have to do something about it. It's relevant to you. The next phrasal verb has three words, carry on with. Okay, that simply means to continue. For example, I want you to carry on with the project while I am out of town. Number three, catch up. This means to make up for lost time, getting to the point where you should be by then. For example, you will never catch up with your work because you procrastinated for too long. Now, if you did want to catch up with your work, of course, you would have to stop procrastinating and be very diligent. And then when you get to the point where you need to be, that means you will have caught up. All right, number four, chalk up. To consider that something is caused by a certain thing. For example, don't feel so bad about this loss. Let's just chalk it up to inexperience and try harder to win next time. So when you chalk it up to inexperience, it means you consider that the inexperience is the cause of why the person lost in this case. Next, come out with. To say something, usually something surprising. So, for example, don't hide the shocking details from me. Just come out with the whole story. Basically, just say the whole story. Next, fit in. To be a part of something in a way that feels normal and natural. Soon after she started working at the new company, she felt as though she fit in perfectly. Um, a lot of times this word is, these, this phrasal verb is used um, to talk about how people feel um, in a group. So fit in with your friends, fit into a company, fit into any group that you might join we use this to talk about what a, if a person feels as though they belong there. Next, flag down. To signal to someone to stop. This is simply usually means to wave your hands, to make someone stop, um, to make someone pay attention to you. 
I was turning left, but the policeman flagged me down and said, I can't go that way because the road was flooded. So usually you flag down a taxi driver, you flag down someone you want them to stop so you can talk to them. All right, number eight, flip through. To turn the pages, to click through pictures, or to change channels on TV very quickly. He flipped through the book and found the picture he wanted to show me. We can use this for anything when there's a whole bunch of something and we're just trying to find something in there. All right, get away with. <clears throat> to do something against the rules or illegal and not get caught or punished. So the getting away with part is that you don't get the punishment that you should have gotten for what you did. For example, my sister gets away with everything she does wrong, whereas my parents are very strict with me. I mean, she doesn't get punished when she does something wrong. She gets away with it. All right, give out, distribute. Now, give out has lots of meanings, but this one is distribute. Sometimes the store gives out free samples of food to make you want to buy the product. So in that case, it just means to give, but we say give out. All right, give up, something very different. To stop trying to do something. No matter how long it takes me, I will not give up trying to learn Hebrew. Hang up to end a telephone call by turning it off. It is not polite to hang up on someone when they are still talking to you on the phone. So we, we, we just simply mean to turn off the phone call. Um, but in the old days, phones used to hang on the wall. And so you would have the receiver to your ear and when you were done, you would hang it back up on the wall. So that became synonymous with ending the phone call, to hang it up. Okay, head over, to go towards something. I am hungry, so it is time to head over to the cafeteria and see what is available to eat. So it just means to go. Okay, hit on, flirt with. Okay, this is not hitting in a physical sense. It's, it's figurative. Elad tried to hit on a frat. However, she is dating Eliav. All right, so it just simply means to flirt. Keep on, continue. He will keep on talking even if no one is listening. Let up to become less strong, to stop. When will this storm ever let up so we can walk outside without an umbrella? So it could be less, it could become less strong, like it's um, not happening as much or not happening as strongly, or it could be, it could also mean that it stopped. Okay, live up to, keep or meet a standard. He tries to live up to his parents' expectations because he doesn't want to disappoint them. So living up to is to be good enough, basically, is what it means. Look down on, see as less or inferior. This is when you look down on someone, you think they are not as good as you. For example, even if you are better at something, don't look down on those who are not as competent. Okay, mix up, confuse. So it just simply means you don't, you can't remember which was which, you're confused. Do you know which way is east? west, north, and south, or do you mix them up? Do you forget which is which? Okay, pass away means, in this case, means to die. 
He lived to the ripe old age of 97 before he passed away. So it's a nicer way of saying it than to say he died. Pass out. This is to lose, to suddenly lose consciousness. When someone cannot control, they, they just lose their ability, like they pass out, they faint, okay? And they can't control that, we say that they passed out. If they fell asleep, we usually don't say that. You could jokingly say that he passed out when he fell asleep, but really we mean it when it happens when they are not in control. So she was in so much pain that it made her pass out for a few minutes. Read up on. Research a topic for a reason. I need to read up on the company before I go to the job interview so they will be impressed with me. So it just means to study something. Stand up to. Defend oneself against someone or something. This is usually when someone is not being nice, when someone is bullying you or taking advantage of you, and you don't let it happen. You stand up to them, okay? I think you should stand up to your older brother and tell him to stop bullying you. So the opposite of stand up to would be that you would let it happen and you wouldn't do anything about it. Turn in, submit, give to. Turn in is usually where you give something over that is required for a purpose. For example, you need to turn in your homework on the day that it is due. You can use this for turning in paperwork to a company or to um, a misrad or something where you're turning in a specific things that are required. And then wear off when it becomes less and less until it disappears. We could use this for a feeling. We could use this for a drug. The effects of the medicine will eventually wear off after a few hours. So it becomes less and less, and then you have to take more. All right, so that was our 25 phrasal verbs in this lesson.